what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong but i'm not upset with his concern video he, he was not defending me if anything he was trying to pro um protect and defend someone that he thinks that or thought that is his sister his friend right but as a mature sane person i got that and I'm not going to be pissed off at him or come for him in any type of way. Because at the end of the day, as content creators, we have our opinions. But everybody else does have their opinion. And they're allowed to voice it. Especially if you are a content creator, you're allowed to voice it the way that you want to voice it. Vault opening welcome to the vault <laughs> hello what is up you dazzling diamonds and the others welcome back to my channel my name is linda kyle and this is the vault anyway you guys let's jump straight into this video Right. Um, I actually feel like I was looking really sexy good with this bodysuit. It has an open back and what have you, but it's cold. And also, it's cold. Alright, so I hope we are decent looking in this video. Heaven! So today, I saw a particular video out there. Um, of some body, you know. <laughs> this video is actually about a sexy, fine young man, um, Mr. Ricky, who hosts the channel, um, reality Christian Reality Check or something like that. Now, as bad as it seems or sounds, that I still from the last videos, last video, I think I did two videos where I mentioned him that. I did that I still don't know his channel name. I'm subscribed to the channel. Will not subscribe. Will not unsubscribe, I mean. Um, I like his content, right? Especially for a person that's on their spiritual journey. It's, it's nice to have different information coming in from here, from here and there type of situation. And I, I do think that he does make a lot of sense in the things that he speaks about. He gives good advice. And I think he's a mature man. And it, it, it really does help um, that he's just my fine to just look at for 15 minutes <laughs> type of situation. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it seems like lately I'm just talking about niggas that are so mighty fine. Trust and believe. I'm very happy, secure, and, you know, in my situation, in my relationship. It's just that, you know, I can appreciate what I want to appreciate. That nigga does look damn fine. He does. <laughs> and that, that is no disrespect to his woman, by the way. I give a disrespect to you, obviously. Just saying. Um, but that this video is not about that, right? Ricky did a video not so long ago where he titled it Concern. And he was concerned about his friend. His friend is obviously going through a lot of things right and in the video that ricky did um expressing his concern he made a lot of valid points very mature i think most of his videos are very mature if you're a mature person with brain cells you understand what he's saying if not then you have a problem but then again i've said so many people do have problems bakula bakula right for the fact that there are particular people that saw that video and had a problem with it or misconstrued it. I cannot say to you guys, I, I can't even get into it. Like everything, that video on its own must tell you that these particular people that I've been saying, they have a problem. It's true. It's a fact. Well, I'm not saying hang on to every word that Ricky is saying, but come on, baby, this is a neutral person. As a matter of fact, in the video that Ricky did where he expressed his concern, it was about me and some other orange person. Peel the layers. 
do what you must right ricky did not defend me he doesn't know me from a bar of soap he does not know me he wasn't defending me he wasn't praising me as a matter of fact ricky said he's not concerned with how i'm doing in certain situations as a matter of fact he stated that he was concerned about his friend, someone that he considered a sister or considers. But I don't think his tune has changed just because a video has been made about him that is negative. I don't think so. He's a very mature person. Other people are not mature. Don't be taken aback by what I'm saying because it's the fact and it's true. If you watch, and please go and watch it, Ricky's video titled Concern, he makes a lot of sense. He never defended me one time. He never came to my aid. Even though I have actually promoted his channel on numerous occasions. And I've told people how much I like that channel. I watch it. And I encourage people to go and subscribe to it. If you want to know a thing or two about spirituality or maybe even religion. Right? Because his channel is a Christian channel. Not only is it a Christian channel, but he also does... You know when there's trending topics about Mithali or whatever, he'll incorporate that with, with the word from the Bible or Christianity or what his spiritual or religious beliefs are, all right? And it only takes a mature person to understand how he can actually link those two things together. He's not a gossip channel. He's a Christian reality whatever channel. But he is able to incorporate the two to convey the message. And that is what propelled me to actually make this particular video. Right? Um, apparently, allegedly, in a video that has come out recently, Ricky was defending me or whatever. No, he wasn't. I want to make that very clear. I should probably be upset because he is a religious or spiritual person and be like, how dare you not defend me? Because you can see what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong. But I'm not upset with his concern video. He, he was not defending me. If anything, he was trying to um, protect and defend someone that he thinks that or thought that is his sister, his friend. Right? But as a mature sane person, I got that. And I'm not going to be pissed off at him or come for him in any type of way. Because at the end of the day, as content creators, we have our opinions. But everybody else does have their opinion. And they're allowed to voice it. Especially if you are a content creator, you're allowed to voice it the way that you want to voice it. So he was trying to protect his friend. He was trying to guide his friend, in my opinion. In a direction that is beneficial for that particular person right but uh, i knew it i knew it for a fact that this day would come i've actually shot this video before but i had to delete it and then reshoot it today because baby here we are type of situation <laughs> pathetic pathetic in that video of concern that uh, that re he was trying in my opinion he was trying to protect his friend trying to reason with his friend trying to make his friend see the light of day there was no defense of linda kyle let's face it guys who really comes out onto the internet and defends me who because i speak the truth and people are afraid of that and if you cross people with bigger numbers, then you're going to be a problem. And that is what Ricky is facing now. He's a problem because he said something that somebody doesn't like. But haven't I told you guys that there are certain people on this internet that are victims? Haven't I said that? This must be a clear indication. This must, if this, if this doesn't show you what I've been saying, I don't freaking no there is no hope for humanity everybody must be a zombie they got the, they got the thing because this is not normal it's not if your friend is trying to protect you and guide you into the right direction why would you be pissed 
Because, oh, everybody's trying to get you, like I've been saying. Everybody is trying. Literally, the video that I saw, this person was talking about people, they're all trying to get this person. Ricky is trying to get this person. Ricky is not a, a true Christian. He's a charlatan because he was speaking his truth. Anyone that speaks against this particular person or speaks the truth is wrong. If you guys don't see it at this point, it's like, wow, please go and watch the concern video that Ricky did. I am going to put the link in the description. He wasn't defending me. He wasn't. Because people are afraid to defend me, even though I'm right. They are. I stand by myself. And I didn't come onto YouTube to make friends. I'm not, I'm not your buddy. I came here to make money. That is it. Not only that, I came here to build a foundation for myself. Because there's other things that I plan to do. Thanks to this platform. Type of situation. And Ricky, his girlfriend, everybody's been dragged for having different opinions from this one particular person. Like I said, if anybody comes against this person, it's a problem. How do you know? This person literally said in the video, it took me three weeks and I had to calm down. Baby, you are not calm. We saw you. You're angry. You're boiling. Revenge. Much. I've been saying it for months. It's about revenge. This person lives on being loved by people on the internet. And the truth of the matter is, and this goes out to any other creator, YouTuber, whatever. People on the internet, more than they love you, they probably envy your space. That's a fact. Or they are fans. Get your love from your family and your friends that know you on a personal level. But baby, people will comment and they'll say a lot of things that will drag you down. You don't even see it because you want to prove a point. You want to sue people. You want to do a lot of things. And a lot of videos that these particular people have put out on the internet are only to their detriment. Type of situation. Show the world who you really are. And just because people have more numbers or diehard fans for years, it doesn't mean that at the end of the day, I'm telling you guys this right now. Everything that I have said or done to this point does not have to be proven in a court of law. It does not. It is as clear as day. It is on the internet. I've always told you, don't be lazy to watch the videos. Go back to my videos of certain people that I've done. See where I've used satire. See where I've praised these people. See where... The lies that have been told are because they are lies that are being told. And then you watch a recent video and you take it for Bible. I never lie. And that's why I've always been so confident in my situation. There is absolutely no way. People might hate me now, call me crazy, all these things. You want a judge to prove to you that I'm not crazy. I want a judge to prove to you that I'm not lying. That is stupid. Because I've never lied. It's on the internet. No, I've ever, ever taken anything down. However, situations have happened where my shit has been taken down. And still, in that, I was villainized. Why the fuck would I do that myself? It doesn't make any freaking sense. Right? And then now, people like Ricky that speak sense, not even defending me. Because people are afraid to defend me. It's scary. I'm a beast. I'm a whole entire monster. Because I speak the truth. And the truth hurts. Lies. Lynn has made fun of this situation. You're lying. Watch the videos. He never made fun of anyone's, let's say, for example, divorce. It was never a situation of I made fun of the situation. I gave commentary. People don't even understand. Look it up in the freaking dictionary. You're mad because of my English. You're mad because I'm well spoken. Open the freaking dictionary then and get, you know, the consolidation that you actually freaking dickily need. You cannot just take one person's word and they say, oh, this person is crazy. This person's channel is a fan page. Baby, you're a whole YouTuber for more than five years. I haven't even been on this platform for two years. And you don't understand what commentary is? Of course, you're manipulating people. 
But you're not just manipulating them on the platform. <laughs> you know what you're doing at 3 a.m. in the morning, baby? <laughs> wow. It's a crazy situation, right? So in that Ricky um, video where he was um, telling us about his concern for his friend, where he did not defend me, somebody that has promoted his channel and even gone further to promote people that have collaborated with him after I did that video where he collaborated with that other woman. He did a very short clip. He even said himself that I don't feel the need to post anymore. It was like a three, four minute video. Guess what? People flocked to that channel. It was after I mentioned it. That's a fact. I'm not trying to blow my own horn. It's a fact. Wouldn't have to mention it if not for this video. They flocked to that channel. That lady was monetized, so on and so forth. I speak, I speak a real truth, real life, real fact type of situation. And as much as people want to hate on me because I'm a smaller creator and a bigger creator hates me. You hate me. You hate me so much. You don't stop thinking about, you don't stop thinking about me. I don't blame you. I'm Linda Kyle. Sorry guys, let me fix. Oh, oh, I don't know what's going on now. And it feels like, and by the way, if you want to see the creation of this protective style, go check out my personal channel. Here's a quick video of how it was done, right? I lost my train, my train of thought. Um, I feel bad for Ricky. <laughs> there are people that will do anything to be loved. We all want to succeed. We all want to grow on this platform. But don't bring Ricky down because he gave his opinion just because you don't like. But that's the thing about certain people. You know what I mean? You know who I'm talking about, I guess. I don't know. Do you? <laughs> it shouldn't be orange. It should be lemon. You want to bring him down. Ricky has mentioned recently he's lost a lot of subscribers. I don't know if it was because of his Porsche video or anything else. If you guys don't... <laughs> if a person like Coco Mawini can say to you, all I need is your picture, your name, your surname to be with you. How many of you out there, and I've said this before, and I've tried to be discreet about it, don't think that this love... Oh, tell you it's even fear because you don't want to be blocked. Is not manipulated spiritually. We don't come onto YouTube to make buddy buddy and friends. We're working. And we have a message to convey. But baby, think about it. If you watch the videos, there are people that will come out and when you go up against them, they'll say, You clearly don't love me. You don't understand me. Not everybody's supposed to understand you. Your content creator. Create the content. When um, is it Dingo Generations, The River, put out content. It's not for people to like them or understand them. It's for their entertainment type of situation. But these certain people need that love because they don't get it. They've never had it. And maybe, as for Ricky, Ricky was defending. People are now going to turn against Ricky as if he's done something wrong. Watch the video. I always tell you guys, watch the videos. And I always tell you guys, you're under a dark spell. And I will not be consumed by anger or revenge. Never. You will never live in my head forever. Whoever you are. You know what I mean? If you do bad to me, you will never have that space. And that's the message that Ricky was trying to convey. Don't let somebody that has hurt you live in your brain. Don't give them their power over you. Ricky did nothing wrong. So don't unsubscribe. Don't look at him differently now because somebody is telling you to. Why? Because they have bigger numbers than him? Once again, what did I say to you guys? They will try to cut you down at the knee. But what did I say to you guys about particular people? They're always victims. Get a victim. It doesn't matter who it is. If this doesn't prove it to you now. <coughs> Excuse me. Lord, protect me from these demons. <clears throat> if it doesn't prove to you now 
that certain people are vengeful. All they have in their hearts is revenge. You're gonna come out here, anybody, somebody, and say, I've had three weeks to think about this to come down, and you're coming out onto the internet all hot and bothered about that same situation. You couldn't wait to put that video out. Why? Because you're angry. And <clears throat> because you're angry, and you must get that person back. Not only that, it's the 28th, right? YouTube is calculating the money. So you have to make some money from the situation. Pathetic to try and bring a smaller YouTuber down for your own personal gain. Baby, people will start to catch on. People are starting to catch on. We see the comment sections. <laughs> Excuse me. We see them. People are starting to catch on. You're sleeping. And I will be vindicated. Because what is right is what is right. And what is wrong is what is wrong. Ricky did nothing wrong. He was concerned about a friend. And he expressed it very well. And let's not get it twisted. I'm going to have to keep reiterating it. He was not defending me. Watch the video. He did not even care about me type of situation and he's one of my favorite South African creators and I have promoted his channel on numerous occasions but baby he wasn't biased he didn't say oh because of Lynn promoting my channel I'm gonna be nice to her no he was nice to his friend but look at me I'm not mad at him because of that situation I get it and even I took his advice let the hate go. Let the drama go. But like I've said before, there are people out there that cannot do that. And one thing I will tell other YouTube creators is that in some instances, especially if you are a gossip channel, commentary channel, or you are enthralled in drama, drama will follow you because that's what we do. We do drama. Let's face it. At some point, you're going to have to accept the fact that you talk about people, people are going to talk about you. You create drama because you're talking about the dramas in people's lives. It's coming back to you. We all have to face it. We all have to deal with it because that's what we signed up for. That is our job. Accept it for what it is. You cannot, you cannot talk about people and they don't talk about you. And you put your whole life out there. You know what people say about me, right? But because I signed up for this job, it's going to happen. And then I put my family slightly online, which I, I won't make that mistake here. Even my personal channel is going to be about me and you. This channel, me and you. No more nothing personal. Because you give people that courtesy to get to know you. They will use it against you. They will. And if I am getting my karma, so be it. I can accept it. It's fine. Like I said, whatever trials and tribulations I have to face, which I have been facing, I will face them. And I will get over them. That's my karma, right? That's what everybody says. All the people that are saying, oh, no, you deserve losing your child. You, de you deserve it. Okay. That's how you feel. I'm, I, I didn't put out that video for your sympathy. I put out that video to relay a message because I had told you I was pregnant. Now I'm not pregnant. In a few months, if there's no baby, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? You're going to create a story. So many stories are being created. But baby, I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you that I can help you generate that income. Talk about me. You know I love it. If you don't know, I'm letting you know. Talk about me. Don't stop. But I must extend my apologies, which I don't even have to, to Ricky. He wasn't even defending. If he was defending me, maybe I should apologize for that. You know, sorry that you got yourself entangled in the situation. But Ricky is a content creator. He's creating content. He sees a situation, he's going to give his opinion. And the crazy thing about it is that he wasn't just giving his opinion. And even if he does talk about the gossip endeavors he always gives that christian perspective of it a bible verse or a story from the bible something like that right 
So he's not wrong and his content is not misleading. It is very accurate and he can do whatever the hell he wants to do. Certain people are not the owners of YouTube. You're not. You're not. If Ricky wants to speak about what he wants to speak, nobody can talk about you because they're your friend. Everybody be scared. Your castle is crumbling. You don't even realize it. There is not enough dark magic in the world for you to avoid what is coming on period. To ever, to whoever this may concern type of situation, right? I, for one, still like and stand by Ricky's content and still believe that he is trying to do good in the content that he's doing. But at the end of the day, he is a content creator. So he's creating the content. And his niche in South Africa, actually, is different. There's not a lot of um, South African channels that are like Ricky's. There isn't. He always refers back to the Bible. He always refers back to Christianity. Not everything is about you. It's a damn shame that you feel like everybody is against you. His girlfriend, or everyone on the face of the earth. At some point, you need to realize that maybe, baby, you are the problem. You have a problem. Not everybody can agree with you. And not everybody is going to be entrapped. If you get what I mean. Huh? Anyway, you guys, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel, right? And my other channels. And guys, if you guys haven't um, checked out um, Reality Check, Christian Reality Check with Ricky, please go and check out that channel. He has really nice, interesting um, commentary that he gives there. Uh, I don't think that he's biased. As a matter of fact, once again, I will say he never defended me. Nobody does on this platform, even though I'm right. We are yet to find someone that says, oh, Linda Kyle is right. But of course, everybody's waiting for the judge to say that even though the information is right there, it's on the internet, the truth is right there. You are told by a bigger creator that a smaller creator is lying, is this, is that, and the other, and you bite onto that. You, you die with that. Even though you have contradicting thoughts. I just wish that people will start to think independently. Right? Anyway, you guys, I'm not speaking about anyone in particular. I'm just saying, go and check out um, Christian Reality Check with Ricky. It's actually a nice, informative, different type of situation. Um, and you guys will love it. You know what I mean? He's a very sane person. Unlike the people that we see on these internet streets, they are not sane. They are insane. In Bashanya. Point blank, period. And if you're woke, mature, You'll enjoy that channel. There's absolutely nothing wrong going on there. What is wrong is what is the immaturity that you are seeing here. These certain people are unforgiving. Always out for revenge. Always the victims. If you don't see it at this point, baby, and I've said this before, Angaz. Angaz, Yanja. Hey, Angaz, Yanja. You know what I mean? Maybe you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs> mm -hmm.